Today, we're headed down to Brazil. If you look here, you can see that one eye is a little bit red, but I had no idea that this is how I would look in 24 hours. One terribly bloodshot eye coming up. Let's go. And I know what you're thinking. Brazil, Kelsey, they have horrible beaches. The women are known for being very ugly and they're terrible at soccer. Yes, all of those things are true. And that's one of the sacrifices that I make as a 747 pilot. Today we're headed down to Sao Paulo, Brazil, and I'm going as a deadheader, which basically means I'm a passenger on a flight to get into position and pick up a plane tomorrow going out of Brazil. It also means I'm not responsible for all my pilot duties, and that's why I can vlog this. All right, so loading's complete. You can see the door shut back there. Always carrying these bags. Luckily, it's nice out here, but carrying these bags up the steps can be heavy sometimes. All the doors are closed up. We're gonna be getting down here pretty soon. Now, as a crew member, if you're operating on the flight, you're required to wear your uniform until the top of climb, like when the plane initially levels off. However, since I'm a deadheader, I'm not required to do that, which means I can put on my, my hoodie. I call it my cruise relief hoodie, but I can put that hoodie on now and just be more comfortable through the flight. So I'm gonna change real quick. All right, and that's how fast I can change into my casual clothes. Let's go fly. After a little delay because of this, we finally got a push back and we're headed to Brazil. Looks like we're next for takeoff. This is a sign that I'm able to get up and move around on the aircraft. On the 747 freighter, there isn't a normal door there. There's a curtain, and that's why only crew members are allowed to be on the aircraft, because all of them have access to the flight deck. Tonight, we have a three-man crew. You can see both pilots are up there doing their job, and this guy right here, He's doing what we call the math test. This paper right here is how we check to see how we're progressing in our flight. It allows us to notice if something is trending bad, for example, with the fuel. We're able to see where our fuel is actually at and where we're supposed to be at, so that way we can make a change before there's a real problem. Spinning around from the flight deck here, you have the galley. This is where I heat up all my food, and then over here is the bathroom. Why do you have the galley facing the bathroom? I don't know, I didn't design the plane. Down here in the back of the upper deck are the bunks, and this side on the left is typically where the FOs sleep. To get comfortable, I have to make my bed. Everybody has their own style and the way they make their beds, but this is typically how I do it. Well, we got about five more hours to go in the flight. I'm gonna decide if I'm gonna take a nap or not because I got about a, a day and a half here in Brazil and I don't wanna be tired when I'm leaving. So I'm gonna look at my schedule here and then kind of decide if I'm gonna take a nap or not so I can figure out how late I wanna stay up. This is kind of the tricky part about while we're out on a deadhead you're you've got the whole time and you run a risk if you go take a nap right away then you're in trouble then in a day or two when you're flying your your schedule your clock's all messed up luckily we're going north south and so it's not as bad because i'm on a normal rhythm but uh, i'm maybe just going to lay down watch a movie kind of relax maybe take a little nap or so and uh yeah eat some food actually i wonder if they I wonder if they saw peanut butter and jelly. Let's go look. I should probably mention that this is pesto. I have no idea why it's on the outside of the bread, but at first when I saw it, I thought it was mold, but it's actually just pesto. I thought I should mention that. This is how our sandwiches come. Come in just a big bag of sandwiches and no peanut butter and jelly. After I got done pouting about the other pilots eating the peanut butter and jelly, I headed back to the bunk and checked on my schedule to plan out my rest for the following flight. At this point, my eye is starting to itch more, but I haven't realized just how bad it actually is. Of course, on a flight this long, I'm gonna watch some movies. Uh, I mean, study, see kids, see how happy studying makes me, so make sure you go to school. And of course, I did some work on YouTube, which always makes you really tired. 
just doing some work here on my computer, working on a viral debrief, and then I stood up and looked at this mirror there. My eye is so red, but if it's not fixed by the time uh, I wake up tomorrow, I'm probably gonna have to go see a doctor, because there's no way I can fly with my eye this red and all itchy. It's starting to get more and more itchy, and I have little eyes, so I don't, I don't know what the hell got in there. <laughs> I got the weather, I like to kind of have an idea of obviously, even though I'm on a deadhead, what, what the temperature, what the weather's gonna be like. That was that thing that I printed off here. And you can see it kind of gives you a breakdown of everything. Uh, it tells us the temperature, the runway they're landing, and all the stuff that a pilot would need in order to land, and then what I would need in order to know what I need to wear when I get off the plane. So when, when the pilots make that announcement in the back and they tell you, hey, the winds are out of this and, and the temperature is this, they print it off this type of paper and then they read off of that. So I just went and printed this off because the guys were up there and I didn't really want to bother them. I'm on a dead head, so I try to stay out of their way as much as I can. Welcome to Sao Paulo, Brazil. <sighs> Even though this was a deadhead, it was a pretty long day. And my eyes getting redder by the minute. It's five in the morning. I gotta get to sleep. I, I have about five hours of sleep if I wanna get up and get the free breakfast and I, I think we all know that I'm gonna get up and get the free breakfast. I definitely can't end this vlog without showing you what actually happened and went wrong with my eye. I'll be honest, I thought it was a piece of dirt and I was mostly praying that it wasn't pink eye. But the airline sent a doctor to my room and he sent me to a hospital that deals with only eye issues. And here's what I found out. So I'm here in the doctor's office looking to fix this eye. Before I show you this picture, if medical things make you squeamish, you're gonna wanna look away. He says an eyelash somehow has grown in, inward into my eye, which I've never seen before. He says it happens sometimes, but uh, he thought put this stuff in here to see just how scratched it is, but it looks like I'm wearing makeup. So it's kind of a new look I'm trying out. If you want to see some videos of my first vlog, check out this one here. If you want to see a pilot landing on a 747 that was not nearly as good as the one that my captain just did, check out this video up here. I look forward to hearing from you. Until then, keep the blue side up.